Oh shit, man, here we go, man. It hit different. Sean, what's that word? It hit different. Man, how you been, man? Man, hey, look, it's a lot been going on. And I, I look at you like, bro, why you ain't been calling me for an interview, bro? My YouTube been gone for how long? It hit different. I I had to let it build up. It do hit different when you let it build up. You know, the interview, the, the way I work is like, I don't want to just interview you about one thing and then... You know, I got to let it build up so it could be like an hour long at least. You feel me? Bro, but they be thinking I'm messed up, bro. I was messed up, bro. They be thinking I'm playing, but I was messed up, bro. Your YouTube got snatched. Thunky man. <laughs> Thunky man, bro. They asked j Main, who is Thunky man? If y'all ain't do y'all homework, I can't even be giving all the clout to Thunky man like that. But I I do apologize to Lil Dirt. Cause it do hit different when everybody thought my YouTube got clapped cause it was Lil Dirt. But it had nothing to do with Lil Dirt, bro. It do hit different. When I did my research on that, it, I think it was a producer hating on you or something like that. Somebody who Yeah, bro. You, yeah. We was so the whole thing is on some real shit, fuck all the bullshit. Nah, the producer, J Main, I'm not, you know me, bro. You, you, the first time you met, we came, we came from the trenches, bro. I come from 63rd, bro. I don't really know the business into the, whatever the case is, bro. I just know somebody told me one day, bro, hey, J man, you need to start registering your songs. You get too many views, bro. You need mm. to start making money off your music. Long story short, buddy ass do some backdoor shit, Sean. Wait till I blow up. It hit different when you wait till I blow up. Then get on bullshit. That's that's now catch my drill. It was one thing when he whooped my my music. Now keep in mind, I'm making hella money off the music. So many thousands and thousands off the music or whatever. That was cool. I'm putting up all the mil millions, bro. That's cool. But it's merch. It hit different when you flag my Apple Music. You flag my Spotify. You spag you you flag all my whoops, bro. It hit different. Then J Main, what I do on some player shit, I'm I, it was a little misunderstanding. I ain't even gonna say shit. Fuck the music. Now, keep in mind, that was a lot of music to say fuck, Sean. Keep in mind how long I've been doing music. You down there know me from the music, bro. People know me as musician first, then comedian. It hit different. Then, Chicago street activists, say the kids, it hit different. It was levels to my career, bro. Mm -hmm. How did that affect your, your, your lifestyle? I mean, because, you know, that first YouTube was going crazy. You doing hella views. I know the checks are the checks are pretty sweet. And then you wake up and all that's gone. Bro, he waited literally until now look, I'm blowing up. He flagged all of all of the um what you call it, the 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 streaming platforms. Now that was cool. J Man get on some player shit. I put my feet up. I let him do that, bro. He didn't have to flag my YouTube. You asked me how's my life changed. Bro, I just had a newborn. Do you see my newborn? It hit different when I ain't got my baby with me, bro. What? You know when a rapper get on, what we do? We show off our kids, bro. It hit different. I can't show off my baby on Say Cheese? I'll bug the fuck up, Sean. It hit different. <laughs> so you wake up one morning and your YouTube is gone. All three strikes. Uh, you know, once you get that third strike, YouTube don't play. Ain't no, ain't no, ain't no looking back, bro. That shit gone. Now I had to start over from scratch, bro. Do your homework on starting over from scratch. I know about it, for sure. Uh, so you reach out to the producer. How does that go? Now, this is how the situation with the producer go. Now the thunky man get to doing all of this weird shit. He once he flagged, like I say, he flagged the whoops. So I fall back. I let him have that. Then, when he flagged my YouTube, that's when I bugged the fuck up, Sean. Like any motherfucker would. You already took whole, what, what this is, hundreds of thousand dollars off the music. Now, it's merch. You double back, you don't know what. They don't even really know what we making off the YouTube, Sean. It hit different. You know the YouTube hit different. So, imagine I'm making all these thousands off the music and I never cared. Because the YouTube coming so colossal, it was hitting different. So, I'm, um, what? All right, now you whoop my wife, bro. I can't support my family, bro. 
it hit different when you can't support your family, bro. Now, I'm all the way. J. Main move out the hood. Now I'm in Houston, bro. I'm living my life, bro. I'm in Houston on the top floor in the condo. Now, people come to my crib removing furniture that ain't been all the way paid for, bro. It hit different. Hey, you started a, a new YouTube back up. You're already at 22,000. A lot of people can't do that. That's a quick bounce back. I'm trying, Sean. I'm trying. That's all I can say. I use this situation when they whoop my watch. I say, j Man, you wanted to be a blogger anyway. Go full force with your blogger shit. Put everything that's really going on in your in these people's face, j Man. Stop playing. Put this shit. Just let them know. All right, this what happened. Let them know. This what happened. Let them know. On phone now. Y'all ain't see me y'all at the pawn shop, bro. I'm pawning my TVs, bro. If y'all go to my channel, I'm on my channel pawning all my stuff, bro. I, I seen that. We're we going to get to that. We're going to get to that. It hit different. Uh, But I, I think, you know, everything happens for a reason. Your old YouTube channel, uh, you know, you're dissing Chief Keith, you're dissing King Bond, you're dissing all these people. Maybe it's a new chapter in your life. Maybe God's doing that for a reason. Now, look, when you say it like that, I would accept that, bro. but it's still, it still hit a little different when I still wanted the money though. Like I don't want, I don't care to diss the dead. I catch my drift. We grown, we older, we more mature now. We setting examples for the kids. I just got the last time I was on say cheese. They was confused. I was doing, I was doing my stop the violence, bro. You see what I'm saying? They took it another way. I, yeah, it was funny, all of that. Granted, but listen to the message. You catch my drift? It was a stop the violence act, bro. And they weren't understanding the point, bro. King Von documentary. It's out right now. Uh, Trap Lord Ross released it on YouTube. And um, it did damn near... Well, before it got deleted, it, it did like a million views in a day. Now it's back up to three million views again. Um, you know, Trap, Trap Lord Ross is claiming that King Von was a serial killer. Um, killed, killed over 10 people or or, or or had something to do with over 10 bodies. Um, and that's a big thing on social media right now. You know, uh, this whole King Von documentary thing. And this is somebody you personally knew, right? No, now King Von, I ain't know him personally. I knew of him. Now, when I say I know of, now I could have sent you a couple times. I ain't fuck with you like that. I knew of you. You catch my drift? Even if I beat your ass, I knew of you. You catch my drift? Y'all heard about the story of King Von getting his ass beat? We ain't gonna do that right now. But, cause it's a positive channel. Cause it was a lot of, you see what I'm saying? It'd be a lot of stuff that was brought up in that documentary, but we ain't gonna tarnish his image cause he already gone. This one thing I do gotta say about that. I understand what Trap Lord doing, cause it's bigger than Von, bro. It's the government. It's not Von's fault. I like how he started at the beginning. We was all, we all born in this, in this area of this world that a lot of people ain't born in, if that make any sense. You see what I'm saying? So we breed different. We look at shit different. You see what I'm saying? So I like how he started with his father. Like, this was already a fucked up individual. But was that a fucked up individual? No, it was a demon living in Vaughn. And now that demon is living in dirt, bro. Do your homework on that demon living in dirt, bro. Mm. It hit different. Uh... I mean, yeah, because the documentary, man, is it, it's so many mixed reviews about it. You know, Asian Dog claims that the documentary is not true. Because put it like this. So people's, bro, this man kids got to grow up, bro. This is about the kids, bro. You see what I'm saying? And that's probably what, you see what I'm saying? That's what they trying to tell Trap Lord. Like, man, this is about the kids, too, at the same time. Like, the kids got to grow up and... Yeah, your dad was a serial killer. It hit different. You see what I'm saying? How you know these kids ain't finna be raised to be, or grow up thinking they wanna be just like they daddy. When I was little, I wanted to be like my daddy. It hit different. Do your homework on my daddy. It hit different. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Kids wanna be like they parents. Girls wanna be like they moms. Boys wanna be like they dads, bro. So when these kids grow up and they look into this four hour long documentary in the detail, what you just say? Asian doll felt like this was true, bro. So if some, I mean, not true, bro. So, but you looking at it, it seemed true as hell, don't it, Sean? Mm. That, that whole documentary seemed true as hell. Now, me personally, 
I'm from 63rd. I know what's really going on. I know that whole documentary ain't true. Now I say the whole documentary. It hit different when I say the whole documentary ain't true, but some of it is. Most of it is. Do your homework on most. You watched the whole thing? Hell yeah, I did. <laughs> I had to, son, I can't cap. I had to watch that hey, thing from beginning. I, sal I, I salute you for that, because most Chicago natives swear they don't be watching YouTube. Man, I, <laughs> no, I had to watch I had to watch the King Von documentary, bro. That's like, I ain't from Chicago, I ain't watched the Von documentary. Do your homework on King Von, bro. It hit different. So, out of, out of those 10, 11 bodies that Trap Lord Ross claims that King Von had something to do with, which one of those bodies are not true? Ah, bug up, Sean. They hit different. When bodies, bro, bodies, we talking about bodies, bro. Which bodies is not true, bro? It's a few of them bodies that Trap Lord, it might be what they say. A, I don't, it depends on what you mean, a few. And then some people say one or two is a few. So it do hit different. But a couple of them bodies, man. You can't give us one. Man, it hit different. Um, that body ain't full body. Y'all know what body I'm talking about, too. That body ain't full body. It hit different. Shit, it's so many bodies. We don't know which one you but talking about. But that's what matter in Chicago. That body ain't his body. Y'all know that body ain't his body. I don't know why they doing that. Like that one body, his body. That body ain't his body. And that other body, y'all overdid that. Too. That other body, y'all overdoing that. It hit different. Y'all know who work that was, man. So Chicago, different. Chicago know what you're talking about right Come now. Come on, man. It hit different. Do y'all homework. Uh, but you know, in Chicago, there are other people who had that 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 um okay, I'm gonna start with uh he passed away, rest in peace, 051 Melly. You know, when he died, he became famous for his multiple alleged bodies. Um there, so you're saying there are people like King Von in Chicago. There are several people. There are lots of people in Chicago that have. And that's why people in Chicago look at it like, you saying Von a serial killer? Do your homework on folks sitting next to me. It hit different. You see what I'm saying? That's how it go in the rack. So it's like, bro, you can't whoop Von for being a serial killer. Everybody a fucking serial killer. Do your homework on this. A lot of serial killers around this bitch. It hit different. Hold yeah. on. You don't trust nobody in Iraq. Remember we was having that conversation last time, bro? You can't trust niggas, bro. It's a hundred. Bro, everybody damn that serial killers, bro. It's a lot of serial killers. I ain't gonna say everybody just a serial killer. Some motherfuckers do what they gotta do when they gotta do it. But a lot of motherfuckers, a lot of motherfuckers be serial killers too. It hit different in Iraq. Oh now. So yeah. it's like what that's why motherfuckers like it's several King Vons. Like Vaughn, like you would talk to a real killer from the rack. Vaughn went on shit. It hit different when you talk to a real killer from the rack. Vaughn went on shit. And that's why I'd be like, yeah, y'all. That's why when y'all, they be like, yeah, they be overhyping these artists, bro. And that'd be the whole thing. Like, nah, Vaughn did what he did. We'll give him that. He did what he did. He was like that. We can't take that from him. But at the same time, they be putting too much motherfucking sauce on that shit, man. It hit different. It do hit different. But it's a good, uh, but put it like this. Them documentaries, bro, they be entertaining, bro. It's just like when you see Jay Main on the camera, the shit be entertaining sometimes. Shit, I'm gonna follow along and how he woo Von Ki Von Ki Von Ki. Now that shit was hitting different. He was he was whooping shit. I ain't even know. I, I had to look at my chain again. Like, do this motherfucker say sixty third or not? Now let me know. Like, tell me something. It hit different. Yeah. Oh, bro. But you know you ain't gonna know everything that be really going on on Fulham, maybe other shit that happened and then a little miscellaneous shit on Fulham Gray. So you know how that shit go too on bro. And you personally knew K.I., right? We spoke on this before, but you personally knew her? Yeah, yeah, K.I., that was my dog, no cap. Uh, Kyra, it hit different. Um, yeah, I wanna, I wanna was, backtrack. What my bad, but Kyra, what's crazy, you just mentioned Kyra, and K.I., and Melly. K.I., do your homework on my first music video. FYBJ man, Chief Keep This, K I N Melly in the video. That's how you know Chicago fucked up. Everybody was like this, bro. You see what I'm saying? Everybody was rocking on Phonem Gray. Then that shit got wacky as hell on Phonem. Do yeah. your homework on shit getting wacky. Yeah. I, I want to backtrack on that too because they claim, you know, she has multiple bodies as well. Like, damn near, she was a serial killer too when you put it all together. Do your homework on KI, bro. Do your homework. But it hit different. When did you notice a difference in KI? On Phonem. 
I don't know. Did I tell? Did I tell y'all the chaos story? It hit different. I ain't told y'all the chaos story. No chaos stories, folks. For them gray, it do hit different. I ain't gonna cap. When I say K, I like that foe on the on the guys, folk. Put it like this. It's a lot of niggas in Chicago on foe now. Granted, it's a lot of niggas. But bitches like KI, that was a nigga, bro. You catch my like on foe now, niggas feared KI at the same time on Bro Num Gray. Like, I remember this one time. On Fulton Gray, and she just had the heart of a line. So I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna whoops, over whoops sis shit like that. Cause motherfuckers be saying, like I was saying, they be over putting sauce on shit. So let me just tell what I, what I seen with my own eyes. All right, it hit different. One day I'm on a block, folk, on the guys. Um, let's just say it was something happened, Sean, on Fulton Gray. I ain't gonna go in there. I can't over tell you, but just know something happened in the hood and Fool them did that. Fool on the on that side of the fence did that. It hit different. On that side of 63rd. The, the other side of 63rd, do your homework on the other side of 63rd. Mm. Now, motherfucker getting that. I right, check, that was fool them. Now imagine all the guys around, all the guys, all the toughest niggas that all these rapping ass niggas who y'all know, all these tough ass niggas. From 63rd, bro. What? Tough ass niggas around on four them. K.I., bro, out of all them niggas. What? I'm finna go bug up. Nah, lonely a duck. I gotta take it back. Duck getting that. Got that look in his eye. On Tuka. Who finna go? K.I. get that. She look at the guys. You niggas bitches on Tuka. Look at the guy. It's a crowd full of niggas. Who finna go whoop, bro? Do your homework on none of these niggas want to go whoop. But K.I. was the only motherfucker in the crowd trying to go whoop when fool them just whoop, bro. Fool them just... Come on, man. Do I got to go there? K.I. was the only one, bro. Do your homework on J-Main being right there. And I ain't... I ain't whoop neither shit. <laughs> so I know folks got... Folks got a heart of a lion, bro. Tougher than a lot of these niggas, bro. It hit different. Now, I ain't saying I wasn't finna whoop, but it was just the situation. Duck getting that on Tuka. When Duck merch on Tuka, first of all, do your homework on that hit different already because you know Duck mad. It's a level. If he don't say it on no calm shit, if he said it at a high-pitched voice, it hit different. Like, hmm. if he said it at a high volume, bro, Oh yeah, motherfucker better do what Doug just said. It hit different. In this documentary, well, multiple documentaries, they they say King Von is the one that has something to do with Chaos' death. And this is on multiple documentaries at this point. I'm talking over five, five, six YouTube documentaries. Ki and King Von. Well, King Von is linked to Chaos' death. What, bro, on YouTube? <laughs> like, on YouTube? Yeah, he linked to the death on YouTube. That's how I'm looking at a lot of this shit. A lot of this shit be YouTube linked, too. Yeah, yeah, no, no. But the these YouTube links are based off of police reports. Yeah, it do hit different when they be based off police reports, bro. Now, look. Go into detail because I'm not I'm not too savvy on that part of the on a, on that part of what's going on. So what what did it say in the police report? What did it say? I'm confused. I mean, basically, long story short, King Von. Um, oh, 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 okay, okay. Catch my drip. King Von was the motherfucker who who whooped, po, po, supposedly got down. Yeah. All right. So, do your homework. On um, when did that come out, bro? I King Von died, bro. Yep. Right after. What? Now y'all wanna pin murders on the innocent man. King Von is innocent, bro. Stop pinning murder. Chicago police like to do that, bro, when they can't solve some shit too. It hit different. Now you can't solve some shit. Now you wanna throw it on Von, bro. That man got kids. It hit different when Von got kids and his kids ain't trying to grow up to their daddy looking at like, okay, Pops was a serial killer. It hit different, bro. Yeah. 
So no, I, I feel like Chicago police just tried to whoop that under the rug, Sean. Um, yeah, we just gonna put that on food. He did anyway. They was already yeah. saying his ass was crazy. Yeah, it did. I remember watching some of your old videos, and you used to come at Chief Keith. You used to come at King Von as well. It's merch. They ain't different. Like, did you know this guy's a, 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 an alleged serial killer? You know he's respected, and you still came at him. Cause, bro, I never kid like that. That shit don't have, like that shit don't put no fear in my like that shit never like I don't I ain't saying like that, but that shit don't put no fear. He a serial killer. Like, do your homework on all the guys being serial killer. What the fuck is you talking? Everybody, I most of these people be serial killers. I be seeing. I just seen a bitch at Walmart. Yeah, yo ass a serial killer. I know you is. You see what I'm saying? A lot of people be serial killers undercover, bro. I don't trust people like that. It hit different. Do your homework on the people I grew up with. I grew up with certain members, bro. Long live G Skinny. You see what I'm saying? I grew up with Duck Nam. You see what I'm saying? Do your homework, bro. So these certain members, bro. Um. Yeah, it get like that. So I don't even trust, bro. I don't even trust that shit. Uh uh. Motherfuckers be serial killers out here. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> now you and Lil Reese just recently had a. I don't want to call it a back and forth, but y'all know each other pretty well. Y'all both grew up in the same area, same apartment, same projects. Um. Who my cousin? Your cousin, Lil Reese. Yeah. Yeah. He just went on DJU and said y'all aren't cousins. It hit different, Sean, when FYBJ Maine feel like he got to call Maury because my op-ass <laughs> cousin from Old Block don't want to claim his cousin. Why, Sean? Do your homework on him want to claim me because I'm from 63rd. You don't want to claim J. Maine from 63rd, bro? How you don't want to claim your op-ass cousin, bro? This op shit done went too far. That word op, they should have never came up with that shit, Sean. They should have never came up with that shit, bro. So, Reese fucked up in the head. It hit different. And I don't know why he would come out on this DJU platform and say we not cousins, bro. Like that was a that was a slap that was a slap in my face. Now I should call his mama right now. Y'all want me to call his mama? Nah, nah. <laughs> nah. All right, it hit different. I call Lil Reese mama right now. What? Nah, I bug cool. up. Cause he already put my daddy in the whoop, bro. It hit different. Talk yeah, about speaking my of daddy that. used to get beat on, bro. Do your homework on my daddy like this, bro. He ain't skinny as hell like J-Main, bro. It ain't one of those, Sean. It ain't one of those. On phone number, it yeah. ain't one of those. Yeah, he claims, uh, you know, when you was a kid, you used to get beat up all the time. and uh, Talking about never I never won a fight, bro. What? Do your homework on J-Main. Got them bitches, bro. I got them bitches. Now, I ain't going to overdo it. That's all I be telling y'all. Robbers be overdoing it. Have I ever lost a fight? Yeah, I lost a fight. But don't make it seem like I lost all my fights. Little Reesey, little shitty. Why would you do this to, to your cousin on this big platforms that you on, bro? Knowing you got a big name. Knowing you shitted on yourself, bro. Why would you try to embarrass me? It hit different. Now, when y'all were younger, did Lil Reese have the respect? Because, you know, when he came out in 2012, 2013, he was the Grim Reaper. He survived two, three shootings. Do your homework uh, on the Grim Reaper shitting on himself, bro. I mean, that could have happened to anybody, though. <laughs> hey, when the last time you was fighting, Sean, and you shitted on yourself? I never did it, but in, in a place <laughs> like Chicago. I never did it. Nah, but I'm saying in a place like Chicago, three three people run up on you that could possibly kill you right then and there. You would just, <laughs> <laughs> you would just, ah, it never. Hey, Sean, hey, Sean, fuck with you, Lil Reese, yo, fuck that. You see, he trying nah, to get you saying, now. I'm putting myself in his shoes, like on a on a, on a, on a his, dangerous Chicago on summer. The it never. Nah, I'm just saying on a dangerous Chicago summer. Yeah. you're with a fee. He was with a female. Okay, and. Three of his ops ran up on him, and I just think the I just think his life it, it, it just flashed before his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, a, a turd game, bro. Yo, <laughs> <laughs> I wish my daughter was in the lab at this shit. He ain't different, man. Oh shit, he ain't different. No, but real talk though. Growing up, did Lil Reese like 
was he respected around the way? Because that's what it seemed like from the outside looking in. Yeah, yeah. On the outside looking in, no bullshit. Lil Reese had, Ben had the clout ed since we was two, damn now. On phone them, like how you say, nigga, I was rapping since I was 10. Lil Reese ain't lying. When we was in a projects vote on the guys, Lil Reese, um, yeah, Lil Reese, Lil Reese this, Lil Reese that. But that, that's why I felt like in the DJU interview, tried to go on, go on my for like, yeah, J, J Man, he was just one of the little shorties that used to getting beat up. He wasn't my cousin. How I wasn't your cousin? He wasn't my cousin, bro. That shit don't even sound right, bro. I was your cousin, bro, and I'm still is. It hit different. The fuck is you talking about, bro? This shit crazy, Sean. All this shit. And he also said that his dad used to beat up your dad. Oh, nah, that's now nah, you know that shit is a lie. You know that shit was a lie. Do your homework on Lil Reese whooping, bro. That's a whoop. My daddy used to beat up his daddy. That's a whoop, Sean. That's a whoop, bro. That's a whoop. Lil Reese is whooping. He's whooping, bro. Nothing else. That's a whoop. You know that's a whoop. It's crazy. Sean, <laughs> Sean, <laughs> could you believe my. I was. I ain't got no pictures of my big ass then. Hey, never. Like, stop playing. Like, it's one thing to say, yeah, I was beating up J Main, bro. Okay, give or take the internet might. J Main, skinny as hell. I can take him. You know, thinking that on phone number. My daddy, hell nah. Niggas ain't just going on big fool like that. They ain't going on big folks like that. They hit different. Not yeah. on big BD. He ain't doing that. It hit different. You used to be a janitor at the hospital? Now look, do your homework. Now who said I used to be a janitor, bro? Now this well, used to crazy. work. You used to work at the hospital. Now I definitely used to work at the hospital, bro. Do your homework on me trying to be a doctor. I was trying to work my way up. Now if I started in janitorial services, bro, it hit different, bro. I didn't know I was just gonna pop with the rap shit, and the, I never knew that. So, Wait, what? What age is this? What age is this? Whatever time, uh, do your homework on when T. Roy got killed. J. Main was working at the hospital when T. Roy got killed. Because I remember an incident when Fool Num, I'm going to work, and I, I guess I didn't know that Fool got popped. It hit different, and I'm going to work. Now, Fool Num feel like I'm associated with some gangbanging shit. Bro, when I say 63rd, bro, I'm, what I told you, Sean, do your homework on me not being in the gang, bro, but I be talking a lot of shit. You see what I'm saying? So they felt like, J Man, you associated with that shit. So we finna do something to you, bro. They don't care. If you used to live over there, bro, they gonna try to do something to you, bro. Do your homework on O Block trying to do something to FYBJ Main when T Roy got killed because I was working at Northwestern downtown. The hospital, the same hospital they sent my homie to, with the same hospital they sent, they tried to rush Duck to, bro. It hit different, bro. I was working there, bro. I'm coming in, clocking in. I guess it's the hospital finna do a lockdown cause fool got killed. Catch my drip. Now we finna go on lockdown. J Main has all access pass. So I'm coming in that motherfucker. One of the bitches must. There go J Main, y'all. Try to put fool them on my ass. I must have to. You know, it hit different. When I gotta get up the, uh, hit up the escalator now. It hit different. Close the whoop. It hit different. Nah, y'all can't just get up on J Main like that. It hit different. Um, access granted behind other doors that these people can't get in, bro. Do your homework on O Block can't get in the doors that J Main get in. This is 2017. That's when T Roy got. Do your homework on. I be fucking updates on Fodum. I got a yeah. whole song out talking about when Fodum died. They ain't even die on them dates. Do your homework on. I be yeah. high as hell. Yeah. Uh, and how long did you work at the hospital? How long J Main was working at the hospital? For a few years on phone now. I was in there for a few years on the game. Damn. Uh, and T Roy is, he was right hand man with King Von. T Roy, yeah, I, I, I heard some shit like that. It hit different. Okay. Um, now, you know, a city like Chicago that gets two, two to 4,000 people get shot there a year. Was it normal seeing people come in shot every every day? Like, oh, yeah, that's regular. Through? Oh, yeah, I work at the hospital on phone them. Oh, you only got you only got shot in your head. You'll be cool. Sit right there. It hit different. It hit different. Sit right there. It depends on where you got shot in your head at. If you ain't get hit like in the sit your ass down. Well, we'll get to you. It nah, different. real talk. It hit different, son. Chicago, wow. But Northwestern, I ain't. I'm overdoing it with Northwestern a little bit. You know, we the top hospital in America. It hit different. I still <laughs> fucking folks know down there. It hit different. So we was getting our headshot victims 
in a little faster. But there was a lot of people taking headshots at a certain time in the rack. Do your homework on headshots. Yeah. So people with leg shots and shit in Chicago, they don't even, half of them don't even go oh, to the house. it's merch. You better put a Band-Aid on that shit. <laughs> it ain't you better put a, a fucking Band-Aid on that shit, boy. What that is? It ain't different. No, not, not in Chicago, bro. They ain't taking no leg shots serious. But I be telling my fuck, bro, you need your legs, bro. You need your legs. I'm going through something with my feet right now. I ain't going to put my feet on camera, but on phone, my feet down there falling off, bro. So you need your legs. It hit different. You ain't, you only get one. I learned you only get two feet, bro. You need two legs, bro, to walk. I need them feet to walk, and I need these legs, bro. So motherfuckers be taking shit for granted. These niggas still out here standing on these blocks, standing on these corners, and that's how a lot of shit was out there happening. Niggas trying to be tough. That's why I be telling these kids, man. Go on the spot, bro. It hit different. It ain't nothing out there on game. Nigga, do. I'm, so, I'm trying to show. That's why I'm trying to build my shit all the way up so I can show all these other shorties, like, man, you can go about it this way. I'm showing them another way, Sean. That's, what yeah. I, that's why I'm up here. Doing my whoops on for them. Nah, you ain't gotta rap. Cause everybody thinking rap, and then when you rap, you tend to you tend to diss how Chicago is and they put you in some shit. Nah, fool blog. We make make more money anyway. Stay focused on game. You'll go far. Talk about y'all little hood stories on for them gray. Try to give them some little game. Again, it hit different, but I don't know. It's a fucked yeah. up world. <clears throat> did did Northwestern did it ha did y'all have a trauma unit? Um, a trauma unit, do your homework, yeah. That's the number one hospital in the right. I feel like uh -huh. that's why they took Duck Duck, I think. <sighs> yeah. So I feel like that's why they took Big Cloud to that hospital because that was the closest one. Like, that's that's really the closest whoop right there. So. Yeah. I remember Butter got shot. Butter got shot and drove past some hospitals, bro. Do your homework on Butter driving past hospitals for no reason. Go to the closest one game. It hit different. Like some of the guys just be doing different shit. If you feel like, nah, that ain't the whoop, I'm gonna go to this one. It hit different. But you shot gang. Like I say, Chicago niggas, we a different breed. We don't even think. We think, uh, you probably ran into a motherfucker at that hospital. Now I'm gonna go to this one. It hit different. Yeah. <clears throat> is Chicago drill rap? Is Chicago drill dead? I mean, you got artists like uh, the, the PGF Nooks that pop up, and I mean, now you still got. Um, you still got the Polo G's who made it super big. Uh, but but you don't really see a lot of new Chicago rappers anymore. Is that is is that is it pretty much done? You don't see new Chicago rappers. I mean, I see them. It's it's a couple channels out there that that be that be you gotta just follow them channels, I guess. It should get real local. If you don't see the other artists who are already Got they little clout in the city. Niggas be trying to haul they clout. Like, that's why I be trying to, you know, whoop, whoop, post little motherfuckers here and there on phone number. But motherfuckers don't be trying to shed no light on motherfuckers for real, bro. Chicago, a dog eat dog world, bro. Motherfucker grimy as hell on the guy. Yeah. You know, it ain't where it used to be. Um, I mean, like I said, you got, it's a few Chicago rappers doing their thing, but it's like the fans are still stuck on the old generation. The 2012s, the 2015s, they don't really seem too concerned on the new shit that's going on right now. Because it's like, it's almost like shit be watered down. Like once you heard so much of the same type of shit, it'd be like, I heard that shit already. You know? So that's how we looking at all these other rap out of town that's doing the drill now. It's like, damn, boy, you know how long we've been doing drill? You see what I'm saying? Like, do your homework on us inventing drill. And now they doing that shit in the UK. But it's like, shout out to the UK, but we been doing that shit, gang. It hit different. Yeah. Which, which Chicago rapper that died over the years do you think would have really, 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 you know, been one of them ones? From the little, from the little JoJo's to the, to the, well, you know, Rondo number nine, he's not dead. He's locked up. Right. Uh, you may have, but you know. lost, yeah, they, he lost the career though. Like, I feel it like, um, dead in jail. Like, but between the motherfuckers that's dead in jail, as we know, I feel like Lil J would have had a, a good ass career. I feel like LA Capone would have had a crazy ass career too. Like, certain motherfuckers would have needed to just keep going, but on phone them, motherfuckers was getting whacked on phone them. Um, you just never know what could have happened, bro. I, I went to, uh, I moved to Vegas and, that changed my whole life. I, it's so many Chicago rappers that I got whacked for. So it, 
it, it's crazy. Like, um, do your homework on Little Mister, folks. Like, yeah. niggas was really going crazy, and you never knew. No work with the branch too. Shit, these niggas could have been the next YouTubers. AJ, man, we fucking with that shit. Shit, we gonna do that shit too. You never know who would have had the idea to do what. I ain't not saying for no what it did that shit, but I'm just saying on the guys. You never knew who elbows they would have rubbed with in they el in they career, bro. It's merch. Yeah. Um, Dirt can do so much on their side. Duck could have only did so much on our side. They do it different when other motherfuckers make different connections and rub different elbows than the top motherfuckers. What about Lil Pappy? Folding them on game. I feel disrespectful on folding them for not even mentioning folks. They do hit yeah. different. Um, yeah, it do hit different. Yeah, well, down there one of the top the top of the list, folks. Yeah, yeah. nigga. Yeah. His you do your homework shit. His paper trail so long with that shit on game. Like he got he got them bitches when it comes to the rap shit on folding them. Like you go through all them videos on my homie. You you hearing the bars. You it, it, it was different. It was different. Pat was different, folks. Like he stood out. But a lot of motherfuckers say I remind I was like when I the way I was coming when I first came out on some wild shit on for them. Uh, you got that? You give me Pappy vibes on for them the energy wise and shit like that on bro. But yeah, Pappy definitely was one of the top motherfuckers on for them. But it's certain motherfuckers who still lie who I feel like like feel back because you know niggas niggas get um discouraged and shit on for them. But you just you really gotta keep your feet on the gas on bro. It, it, it's a lot of motherfuckers who still. Who's still going hard with this shit, but on phone them like it ain't doing no views, so motherfucker end up um fall back and hit there. Yeah, yeah. Do street guys listen to Polo G? Um, shit. Hell yeah, I say yeah. Certain motherfuckers, yeah. Like Polo G, first of all, when it comes to street shit, yeah, he's he's in that he's part of that drill genre, but he just. He's so metaphorical, foe. He got them bitches on folding them. Mm -hmm. He fucking you up. Metaphor, 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 bitch. Oh, you thought it wasn't another metaphor. It hit different. So he fuck you up. I mean, when you listen, he listen to you and it put it, I mean, when you listen to him and it puts you in a different type of um, mindset with Polo G. So he he up there with them top artists. Like, so it, it wasn't surprising to me that he blew up how he did. Cause on phone, he was like how LA was coming on phone now. It hit yeah. Now you recently said um when we spoke. You said that King Von, uh, Lil Durk is starting to get with King Von. I don't want to misquote you, but you said uh, uh, it's passing on to Lil, to Lil Durk. Yeah, yeah. Put it like this. Now, when you see, I feel like Durk be having mood swings on Fortnite because it's like one minute you whooping, then the next minute you trying to say the kids like Jay Main, bro. It hit different. You see what I'm saying? So if you with the, because I, I feel like I seen Durk post to say the kids at the, I started whooping. We seen a lot of people start doing the stop the violence movement after J Main started doing it. Shout out NBA Young Boy. Shout out to these different artists. Shout out Lil Dirk, these people who started doing the do your homework on people who start doing the stop the violence after I started doing the whoop. After we came on Say Cheese and did us, bro. So I feel like that was a that was like my a mission accomplished right there, bro. That's how I felt. Like we got the bigger artists to push the point of why J Main did the whole OTF woo. We got them to stop the violence, say the kids, this what's going on. On phone, we gotta push that narrative on game. So I respect shit like that. All right. Now I noticed uh, you got the OTF tattoo removed. Yeah, it do um, do it different. You don't have the you don't have the chain no more. Yeah, I ain't got the chain right now on phone them because like I told you, I've been having the pawn shit lately, bro. Do your homework on me having the pawn shit. So I had to pawn my OTF chain, Sean. It do hit different, bro. <laughs> I had to pawn my OTF chain, bro. They took my YouTube channel, bro. Everybody blamed Dirk, bro. Everybody blamed Dirk. Man. Andrew Tate, he took shots at uh, Chicago yesterday saying, imagine living in Chicago on purpose, by choice. Seriously, imagine being a full-grown man, a full-grown adult, and waking up in effing Chicago, looking at the entire globe and looking around, looking around, and that's where you reside. And yes, I'm saying this. But yeah, basically he took a whole shot at Chicago. <laughs> now I did peep that. <coughs> I don't even know who the fuck that is. <coughs> but <coughs> what I do know, I ain't do my homework on him, but what I do know is I... You do got a point, fucker. You do got a point. You do got a point. 
Chicago is a fucked up place in certain areas, bro. But not everywhere. Motherfuckers be over saucing it sometime on for them. Motherfucker can't go to certain parts of the rack, but do your homework on them certain parts of the rack, still might get shot up. It's, it's a bigger possibility of them per parts of Chicago getting shot up too, bro. Mm -hmm. So that's why I get where he coming from. Like, yeah, if you could be anywhere else, if you could live somewhere else, why the fuck would your slow ass still be living in Chicago, but y'all don't understand us as a people. Y'all don't understand Chicago natives if you was to say some shit like that. Like, we love our city, bro. We Chicago, like, nigga, we is Chicago. You see what I'm saying? Like, nigga, this, we the home of all this shit, nigga. We the home of the pissy hallways. And you see what I'm saying? The, the Calumet building, the projects on Fulton Gray, nigga, where you get good food at. On Fulton Gray, fuck thick hoes, all the thigh bitches on Fulton. Hit the lake, hit Lake Shore Drive over east, all, all that shit. Hit the Rainbow Beach on Fulton. It hit different, like. It's real vibes in the city, bro. Well, everybody, but everybody be dying, bro. That's the whole thing. But everybody do that, but it be fun, bro. It be busting. Oh, no. Yeah, a lot of Chicago natives wasn't feeling that. Chicago's a beautiful city, man. Yeah. Now, like I say, certain areas, now, when you say Chicago, you got to be talking about the inner, when I, when we talk, when you talk to a nigga like Jay Man and you mention Chicago, I'm talking about the hood areas, bro. You see what I'm saying? The 63rds, the, um, the, the 79ths and shit. You see what I'm saying? The low end, shit like that. Al Gale Gardens and shit like that. You see what I'm saying? Like, Western over there. You see what I'm saying? The hood area. But when you talk about, um, the birds, I mean, like I say, it, it is some nice areas out there on Fulton. It's, they got matches in Iraq too. It's downtown on Fulton Gray. It's white people down there. They be saying, hey, and shit. It hit different. Yeah. You can go to Chicago and not see none of the hood shit. Just vibe out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's why the people were so fucking appalled when whoever the fuck did whatever the fuck they did when that shit happened with Duck, bro. Like, when they went down there and did whatever they did, bro. Them white people looking like never in a million years, bro. That's how the white people feel like never in a million years, bro. Like, these are some nice white people that be down there, bro. These ain't no bogus white people, bro. These is nice white people that be downtown. Do your homework on our white people in Chicago. Mm. Uh, they not <laughs> used to bullets flying down there. They know we got that shit going on south side and on the east side, but they feel like they gonna keep that shit down there. So they was... Whoever the fuck, why you think the feds really got involved? That was a motherfucker from down there <laughs> calling my daddy. You see what I'm saying? Motherfuckers don't know these people got connections, bro. Y'all doing shit. Like, motherfuckers get shot in the hood. We don't even, like, motherfuckers ain't even calling nobody. These people, they calling they, they daddy. And guess who they daddy is? They daddy work motherfucking superintendent for the feds, dummy. Mm. Y'all tweaking. Y'all don't even know who down here, why y'all doing what y'all doing, bro. It hit different. Y'all just doing shit, bro. BTB Savage. This was a guy from, well, he lived in San Antonio. A rapper wanted to do a feature with him, tried to rob him, and the guy got killed trying to rob BTB Savage. The girl actually shot him. Uh, he didn't He didn't shoot uh, the robber, but his girlfriend did inside the house. He did a Vlad TV interview, did damn near 3 million views, and he was, he was killed, I want to say four days after the interview. He took a picture next to where the guy was killed that in the blood, and it went all over social media. Um, whose fault was it? Was it Vlad's fault for the interview, or was it BTB Savage for how he carried it? Um, first of all, we can't blame Vlad for the interview, bro. It hit different when you try to blame somebody for doing their job, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to get interviews, bro. If <coughs> if you're an interviewer, bro, <coughs> that's like God forbid something happened to Big Fyb once. You know, I leave or whatever the case is or later on down the line, bro. Because people do die, bro. But it just be at the time and like, damn, what was the odds of this shit happening? You see what I'm saying, bro? It do hit different. So, fool feel like, um, I feel like his people felt like, man, you dropped this interview. I felt like his mom spoke out and said, um, Vlad dropped the interview at a certain time when he knew, woo, woo, woo. But it was like... Vlad ain't in that shit like that, in my opinion. You see what I'm saying? Vlad ain't in that shit here. He's just getting an interview. That's why. That's how I looked at it. But you, like I say, I'm on the outside looking in. I'm on the internet just like y'all. But yeah, that was a fucked up situation too. It's just crazy because I watched it the day it came out and people loved the, the content. They said it was the best interview that Vlad did in a, in a minute. Yeah. Um, it was detailed. That, that boy, that boy um, 
I give BTB Savage that, bro. Um, may he rest in peace. Um, my condolences to his family. Um, he was so detailed, bro. He painted a picture. I say it hit different when you walk me through the whole thing and Jay Main picturing that right now, bro. So, like how you say, he painted a picture, bro. It was a movie. Whatever he was describing, and I was watching it with somebody else, and I was going back for she like, that ain't real, that ain't real. You know this shit real. Listen how he busting this shit down. You tripping. Yeah. Can't nobody just bust it down like this, like that, like this, like that. And, and my thing is like, people, they like I said, they love the interview. They was, yeah, Vlad, that's how, that's the type of interviews we want. And then when he died, everybody flipped. They they flipped the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, then yeah. Then they, oh, Vlad, he's messy. He's a culture vulture. Uh, he set him up. It's like people root for people love watching the train wreck until it wrecked. Yeah, yeah. And I feel I feel you too. Like on an um, interview, a perspective is like because God forbid, like what if that was you? Like I say, like no. Nah. Yeah. I so I know how you looking at it, like hell no. Nah, Vlad ain't. He just did his interview. He did his job. He it was a nice video. Just like they mad at Trap Lord. It was a nice job. He did a video. You see what I'm saying? But in all actuality, Trap Lord's point of the whole whoop was. It's merch. Y'all mad at me for putting this four-hour documentary out, but at the end of the day, bro, y'all not holding the real people accountable for what's really going on. Why has the city, why is the mayor, why has they let this these deaths, why has they left these killings going on for all these years, bro? And it's why y'all steady letting this go on, bro? It hit different when y'all just let it go on, bro. And now you got Lil Fool feel like he finna do with the next nigga did cause he ain't get caught for it. Y'all supposed to put a stop to that shit the shit first jumped off. Now y'all wanna put it on King Von and he a serial killer. Man, fool was uh, defending himself, if that's the case. Like we all Chicagoans. Just like um Duck was out there uh, trying to defend his life, bro. Cause this is, this is the generational cycle that we live in, bro. This is what go on. It's gonna be a cycle, bro. It hit different, bro. It hit different. Yeah. Uh, now, after the interview, BTB Savage, like I said, he he took a picture in the blood uh, at the apartment where the situation happened. It went it went viral. Um, basically, him taunting the people who tried to rob him. And then even at the end of the Vlad interview, Vlad asked, so are you going to move differently? Are you going to move out of Texas? Are you going to? He said, no. He said, they not like that. Now, you go wrong underestimating your opponent. You never underestimate your opponent. I don't, that's one thing about J Man. I don't give a fuck how big, small, tall, fat, short, none of that. I'm folding them gray. Your ass, get your ass shot to it. Do it different. Kids, they got guns in Chicago. You gotta be aware. When I be saying, say the kids, certain kids, they ass got guns. It different. Do your homework on they ass, you got a gun. So you bet, sometimes you got to protect your life from a kid, bro. In Chicago, his ass got to switch. Well, what you doing with that? It hit different. <laughs> yeah, I just think he should have just been more of a, he should have played the victim role and just been more humble about it. Um, yeah, yeah. instead of footworking that fool in them blood. It do hit different yeah. when you footworking in the blood, bro. But that was some new shit. We never seen that in history. <laughs> like, So first of all, did he, did he set a trend? Yeah, because other niggas, other shorties finna try to do that. Um, I bet you I do this and get away with it. You yeah. see what I'm saying? So that was crazy, but I would have went in about it a different way. But it's merch. You can't tell no like he probably he was already rapping. He probably trying to get to that next level. Like, man, I know this shit going. <sighs> niggas tried to kill me. This shit finna blow up. What? I'm finna do the, I'm finna take the picture. I'm finna do a video right after this. He probably had all type of plans how that shit was finna go on phone number. I ain't even knowing. You know, he was on a, you know, he's on his last days, bro. He was yeah, he his, was getting a lot of views and a lot of coverage that them them last uh, couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he was in his last days, bro, but he ain't know it, bro. It's messed up, like I say, but it's a cycle, bro. Like I say, fooling them that are robbing on phone number. You cool with these niggas on phone number. You let motherfuckers in your crib on phone number. That's what motherfuckers saying. BTB Savage really went wrong at on game, like. You letting these motherfuckers in your crib, but on phone them, we all make mistakes on phone them. Like we all don't let motherfuckers in, and they in our crib at one point in time. Like you got to trust somebody at some point in time. Like especially like shit, but it's like you don't know these niggas, gang. You don't know these niggas, and that's why a lot of niggas be 
going wrong at them. Fuck with my fuck that you don't know. Don't fuck mm-hmm. Now, trenches news. Uh, y'all been having a back and forth lately. Goofy buddy with the mask. It hit different. And uh, he he been popping on YouTube. He's he's doing this thing right now. Uh, fairly new name to the media. Um, is he is. Um, now I'm kind of ignorant to what he does. Is it uh he does like Chicago? Is he like Zach TV? Man, his ass. Put it like this. He takes real news or certain situ. Yeah, he takes certain situations and he is say shit about it and put his little sauce on it. But you could tell. Put it like this. This is the only reason because I can't discredit his channel. He doing his thing like how you said, right? But if you're gonna be a gonna do what you just like how you, how you is because he basically he trying to come under i feel like under this wave you feel me under that act so it's like all right bro put the story out there you do a story on jay man yeah with his bitch ass you say, oh, damn fool like all right just tell the whoop gang we understand you don't like this person you so i feel like a lot of stories here put a little extra sauce on that you see what i'm saying but other than that on the game you feel me Sh- shorty doing this thing too it's merch it's a lot of motherfuckers from chicago that was doing their thing but he really from he really from Newtown on Fodnum. Um, he but he wasn't really getting no money down there in Newtown, on bro. I know my people them like he a little older than me, so that's why he wearing that mask. All that talking he be doing. Back in the day, Sean, do your homework on the gang members, the real gang members. They don't look at us as real gang members, uh, like our generations and younger than us. Like yeah, our people's them, our pops them. Like man, fool ass, no, he ain't supposed to be doing all that talking that he doing on that camera. It's merch, it hit different. He ain't supposed to be doing all that whoop. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. that's why he wearing that mask, it hit different. So do people know who he is personally? Like, do they know who he is? Or he's just a guy from Chicago? Um, Cause he, it seems like he, he knows he knows a lot of different exclusive stories about Chicago stuff. Nah, bro, what it is, he was around both sides, played both sides. You see what I'm saying? So do your homework on a motherfucker playing both sides to get somewhere. So he basically was in an O, like O block, fucking around with them. Then he come on 63rd, trying to fuck around with 63rd. But then he really get on some, um, nah, I'm doing this, but I really trying to bring motherfuckers from O block over here. And now nah, I'm sneak. He basically just did a story talking about he done snuck. Um, one of the old block members to 63rd. Like, why you ain't had a, all the 63rd members write that in? Like, why you saying, yeah, this person, this person knew? Bro, why you ain't bring him around all the real people? So it matter if it was if it wasn't no bullshit going on. You see what I'm saying? You pulled the hat, all them members around. I bet. I fooled them good over here. Shit like that could have ended the war, but you trying to play both sides. Goofy as hell just doing wacky ass shit on some behind the scenes shit, trying to make it seem like, oh yeah, fooling them good. Knowing if fooling them would have seen his ass over there where they would have scratched his ass, it hit different. Yeah. So he's not a mystery man. People know who he is. Yeah, um, I guess, like he doing a YouTube now, bro. Imagine, imagine somebody who used to be like on the corner poor, like standing by the corner store, like poor as hell, and then, but you was trying to, PD, you was fucked up out here. You was really like, he wasn't like like that for real. You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what, like, his business if he whooping, but it's merch. His ass was fucked up on the corner. Like, one of them motherfuckers just be talking, what's up, fool? Let me get a dollar. Some shit like that. Like, one of them type of niggas just at the store, bro. Like, why is you standing right here, fool? I ain't got nothing for you. Get your cluck ass on. Like a cluck, bro. So people don't really remember him because he's just like a, he was just somebody in the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, he was a, but at the same time, he was fucking with folks in them at one point in time. Like, that's why I say yeah. he did come around. So that's why he got them couple stories that he got. You see what I'm saying? He wasn't in my, a part of J Main crowd, though. He wasn't with my FYB. He hit different. Yeah. Now, he did say some, some stuff about you that kind of triggered you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He be he be acting crazy, bro. He be acting crazy on the whoop. He be like, bro, why is you coming for me? And then he like, yeah, you ain't know me when you had a hundred K. And it's like, bro, was I supposed to know you for real? Like, what the fuck is going on? He like, yeah, you ain't know me when I had a hundred K. I'm like, bro, only thing I know, like, put it like this. It was a producer. Shout out Jay Pay. Jay Pay reached out to me like, yeah, fool, wanna um wanna verse from you, Jay Man. And then I'm like, who? He like, and he's trenches news or whatever and i'm like and i told my price whatever the price was bro he paid bro it wasn't even no big hefty shit but it is ass i already i know your ass be low-key fucking with dude them so i taxed your ass a couple dollars it hit different it wasn't about shit because i would motherfuckers know i'd be looking out for motherfuckers i'm now nah, i need a couple dollars from this ass, this ass be under that act on phone them fucking with fooling them on some back door shit it hit different 
Uh, he, now he get on his whoop. I ain't never rap. Man, it's your lying ass up. It hit there. So basically, now, all this shit that y'all be seeing on his page, is, all the backlash is because Jermaine never did a feature with his ass. Do your homework on I got lit. Nobody expect. Keep in mind, I was what what you say. And it'll fly on the wall, folks. It hit different. Then I blew up out of nowhere. They didn't expect this shit. You see what I'm saying? So motherfuckers got jealous. They got mad. Folks ain't no shit. He don't do shit. Really, really, really. Ain't never been really, really, really. All right. Well, I was always around then with that motherfucker. It hit different. <laughs> do your homework, bro. Yeah. Now, I interviewed Bam Man Kevo. Um, and he was pretty He was pretty honest about, uh, you know, when it comes to women, he doesn't like taking them on dates. He doesn't like texting them. He doesn't like long phone conversations. He's willing to pay to get what he wants because he feels like women want money. We want pleasure. Let's skip all the, the BS and get right to it. Um, he's he's also from Chicago as well. Um, when you seen that, what, what did you think? That um, basically, hold on, the shit that him and Charleston was arguing about, um, the the... Female shit, uh, something like he be paying. Basically, like yeah. when Charleston was trying to say Kevo be paying for the coochie. Yeah. But, and you and, asking. And Bandman admit, admitted to it. Right. And you asking, what's my thoughts on Bandman Kevo paying for coochie? Yeah. I mean, if you're going to pay for coochie, folks rich as hell. So it hit different on. I don't know what type of coochies he paying for. It hit different one. It's different coochies out here. You see what I'm saying? So. <laughs> If you paying for a top of the line coochie, I guess, you see what I'm saying? Some coochie that other niggas can't hit. So it hit different. It's like, you got to have Band Man Kevo money to hit that coochie. But like how, how Charleston said, fool, um, fool end up hit. It looked like, I don't know, was that true? But he made it seem like um, 16 hit his wife or whatever. And he ain't have it like Kevo to have the woo woo. So make it seem like the underdogs be whooping too so it make it seem like i don't know you know but that's fooling them situation me personally have i ever paid for coochie j main personally it depends on what you look at paying for coochie is you see what i'm saying and that's what everybody whole whoop is because if i know this bitch like to smoke on phone number and i go grab a a three five of the gas is merch and i'm Hey, shawty, woo, woo, the whole time, knowing she want to smoke, and now I could beat bum buns. <laughs> ah, J-Man, <laughs> stop. It hit different. Uh-uh. It hit different, you know? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, shit, man. Hey, this summer, 2023, man, what you got coming? Hey, this summer, 2023, we really trying to push this... Um, they say the kids shit I had going on, bro. Like we trying to make like everybody thought it was a joke. So I really want to push it and try to basically get some people under some basically show the youth what I like. I was just telling you earlier in the interview. Show them this wave. Um, get some people under my shit. I want to get my channel back up. So that I'm working on my channel to get my channel back up and just basically shed some light on um on different um on different youths that I basically run into in real life. So these gonna be people I'm running to in real life. On phone number, this ain't gonna be no internet shit. On phone number, woo woo, you do this. On phone number, what? You wanna woo woo, get you woo out the woo. On phone number, you ain't gotta woo out the woo. You can woo out the woo. Hey, different. <laughs> phone number. Hey man, you, every, time, every time we do interviews, you come up with some new slang. You got bug up. What? Ah, bug up, Sean, they hit different. Uh, you got whoop, uh, hit different. It's merched. It's merched. Yeah, it's a couple whoops, I ain't gonna count. Yeah. Genius shit, man. Uh, wh one thing I wanted to ask you, I always wanted to ask somebody from Chicago this. Is it true that the the the, the government puts guns and, and ammunition in Chicago alleyways and shit like that? Okay, what you talking about, Sean? Sean talking about the freights, bro. Stop doing that dumbass shit. And I'm talking to the 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 city the government whoever the fuck fucking us up like that bro what they do sean let me tell you let me take some off let me calm down because i gotta get my point across bro because y'all don't be thinking i'm intelligent all the time bro what they do in chicago is they had these freights and they filled up with these guns and they ride through these neighborhoods these certain neighborhoods now all of a sudden the train don't work no more 
Freight is a train. Do y'all homework on a freight train? It don't work no more. This is a poor neighborhood. We trying to see what's in that motherfucker. It hit different. This is a poor neighborhood. What's in here? Guns? How? And it's not happening one time or two times. This shit is always happening, Sean. That's how all these guns just be in the rack, folk. On fold them, there certain niggas get pipes. They sell them. On fold them, but it be when it's wartime, niggas don't want to sell no pipes. But do your homework and it been wartime for the past 10 years and niggas ain't been selling guns since a long time. You got to do your homework on you got a whoop a pipe. <laughs> Just to get one. Whoop, whoop can mean anything coming from you. Yeah, whoop can mean anything. It hit different. You got a whoop a pipe to get one. It hit different. Oh, yeah. Also, do your research. That's some new shit, too. No, that's Lil Reese's shit. That's my cousin. Oh. That's my cousin <laughs> shit. My shit is do your homework. Do your oh, homework. My okay, cu- yeah, yeah. My cousin <laughs> shit is I got to do my research. Now, you and King Yellow, y'all been having a back and forth. Um, you just recently dropped the disc video. Uh and you know, we we see y'all have back and forths a lot. Like even um even King Yellow and, and Billionaire Black, they have back and forths, but we don't ever take it serious because we think it's like, are they doing like some blog? Uh is this like some 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 gimmick shit or is this shit real? But but yeah, to my point, y'all two you, you and King Yellow, y'all y'all recently had back and forth, man, and y'all really been exposing each other crazy. Yeah, it's been a lot of shit going on. Yellow, yellow, just in his feelings right now. Phone them, you know, folks light skin, so you know you got them. You know, it it be hitting different sometimes with fool ass. And where did it stem from? It's st- I guess it it stemmed from like right now all this shit. He accused me of uh, 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 fucking his bitch, Sean. It do hit different when you accuse me of fucking your baby mama, bro. The the current baby mom in Vegas. Mama Lean, it do it different. Now I ain't hit Mama Lean. <laughs> I mean, well, King Yellow does have three or four baby moms. So one Catch of my drift, son. Catch my drift. I'm glad you said this. Brought me to my point. <laughs> if your homie, bro, has hella baby mamas, if your homie got a lot of baby mamas, bro, your your partner can't fuck none of them, bro. <laughs> How, bro? <laughs> It hit different when I don't look at you as my homie. If you got hella baby mamas and I can't fuck none of them, bro. Is you crazy? How, bro? How is you my friend, bro? You don't know what I go through, bro. It hit different. We don't, we only trust certain bitches, bro. Because that's why all the guys be hitting the same rules because we only, because the other bitches probably be fucking with the ops, bro. We don't know shit. Chicago, we fucked up in our head, bro. So we only fuck the same whoops, bro. It hit different. So you telling me that you got five, six baby mamas, and I can't fuck none of them. I'll bug the fuck up. It hit different. And he you said supposed the same, to be my friend, bro. He said the same thing about Lil J. Uh, Lil J is one of his friends that are, that that I always tried to um, mess with the same girls as him. And it's like, all these women in the world, why are you trying to mess with my woman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. I'm for them gray. See, now, that's the one who Yella accused me of fucking the first time. King Yella accused me of fucking, shout out my sister Queen D. It hit different. You, you, you accused me uh, of fucking her, bro. You accused me of <laughs> Queen D, bro. Of all people, bro. He thought I whooped her first, bro. But the whole time, I was just living there on Fulham Gray. Queen D looked out for J-Main. Do your homework on J-Main being homeless in Chicago, bro. Do your homework on what all this shit really over, Sean. What did all this shit stem over? Yellow Ben Bogus, bro. Do y'all homework on Yellow Ben Bogus, folk. On the guy. Remember that same crib that I first met you at, Sean? Stop playing, bro. Do your homework on the crib that I met you at, bro. You ain't even know I was living there. Do your homework. Now, I don't Man. know if I was living there when you was there, but do your homework on J-Main being homeless in Chicago and, and, and King Yellow wasn't even living there, bro. And... Old girl kicked him out. Shout out my sister for kicking his ass out. It hit different. <laughs> now look, <laughs> sis kick his ass out on bro. Me, real nigga. I don't even know sis like that at the time. On phone them, do your homework on J Main working at the hospital, bro. Guess what sis work at? Guess why I meet her at? At the hospital. Now, motherfucker, J Main, woo woo. Um, it hit different. I'm homeless. Oh, yeah, I got another crib. You can go stay here, J Main. You can go live here. You're good. Keep in mind, 
I was good in a condo now. Ain't got to worry about nothing. Feet up. You see what I'm saying? Now, yellow get that. Oh, folks, you staying with the bitch and re, re, re. Folks, it ain't nothing like that. You can come too. I don't care. Like, it's because it's it's more than one room. You see what I'm saying? Yellow a big nigga. So, I mean, you can, I guess you can come back. It hit different. So, folks came back. I get them back in the crib on some real nigga shit. Fuck all the bullshit. I get them back in the crib. You see what I'm saying? For one, for me, Queen D wasn't even finna let his ass back in the crib, bro. On four now. Why you talking about one of them motherfuckers be fucked up? No, your ass fucked up on four now. Show your ass kicked your ass out on front of them. You got in the crib. We, we was both fucked up. So don't try to make it seem like, nigga, you just always had it like that. Nigga, you was fucked up just like me, nigga. We was grinding, nigga, coming up in this shit, nigga. Our ways, we, we weren't whooping, but we were whooping together. Fuck you talking about. It hit different. So now, fast forward, she kick his ass out. Ah, says, left fool back in the crib. Folks want to come back. Woo, woo, y'all make this shit. You know, it's looking wacky as hell. I'm in this bitch without yellow. Woo, woo, it look funny. Woo, woo. She... Well, if she, if yellow wanna, um, if yellow wanna come back, I need a feature from you, him, duck, King Louis, woo, woo, she get the name of motherfuckers on Jaja Gray. I look at my baby mama telly like, it hit different. She laughing like a motherfucker, but Dorothy not playing, do your homework on Queen D. Not playing what? Not playing with his ass. Oh boy, oh, you can't come back. How you think, do your homework on how she got her duck feature from LBG Duck, bro. She was popping all that whoop, but she, she at least got one of them features out of the people she named. Do your homework. So now she whoop folks. Now I get I get her back in the I get folks back in the crib on phone now. Regular nigga. Do, now I'm in that bitch thug and regular woo woo. Now I guess one day I must in that bitch chilling on phone now. Now all of a sudden fool getting that text on phone now. Yeah. Motherfucker gonna need them keys, bro. Motherfucker, woo, woo. What? Bitch ass nigga, I thought I just got you back in the crib. Fuck is you talking about? Do your homework on you trying to kick one of the guys out of Chicago, Sean, and you know he homeless, bro. And you trying to, you trying to, in Chicago, Sean, can't do that, bro. Cause if this not your hood, bro, these niggas over here might pop the shit out you. Do your homework on serial killers in Chicago, Sean. Right. What the fuck? You finna kick one of the guys out? Nah. Now, now I gotta be out here whooping and it's merch. Now I gotta be on defense, bro. Do your homework on you can't watch everybody shine. It hit different. How did King Yellow find out that uh you were allegedly messing with his girl? Cause his cousin who be beating buckets um must have um told his ass of some funny shit. Cause I had his cousin shoot a music video. Mu he he had I had his cousin shoot a music video for me, right? It's merch, it hit different. I'm shoot this video, boy, it hit different. It's merch. He was always on some, he it was seeming cool at first, then he got on some hating shit. I, I started turning up on Fulham Gray. But then mm. he shoot the video, he. Um, yeah, this woo, woo, woo. He don't even know where he at. Um, yeah, this this folks, this folks um whoop crib on Fulham. Woo, woo, yeah. woo, she let motherfucker shoot the video. Keep in mind, I never fucked the bitch. Drake just told him, yeah. Fool, woo, woo. You see what I'm saying? He, mm -hmm. yeah, um, motherfucker, um, hit, hit, um, hit your mood just cause he shoot a music video. Crib, you don't even know. Folks buy weed. From, I can't even say that on camera. All right, long story short, she purchases from some, from somebody. So that's how we connected. You see how, how we was connected. You see what I'm saying? Motherfuckers was purchasing and then motherfuckers was connected like that. So that's how motherfuckers was even locked in, bro. So, Drake jumping in the motherfucker business, it hit different. Then that shit go left, and now fool in it in a spot feeling some type of way. But at the end of the day, nigga, you been bogus anyway. Fuck you, fuck your feelings. You tweaking. <laughs> you kicked me out in Chicago. Um, I thought I got you back in the crib, nigga. It hit the difference. But did nigga and moved to Vegas. Sit your bitch ass on it. Hit different. Then ain't even <laughs> expect me to move to Vegas. Fuck you, time I didn't want to make it seem like he. Then he on that bitch acting like he Harriet Tubman. I brought J Main a uh, woo woo. I drove. I brought woo. -woo. You didn't bring all us. We grown ass men. I bought a plane ticket and I flew to my black ass to Vegas. Fuck is you talking about? You talking like you Harriet Tubman? Like yeah, you brought all the guy, bro. He acting like nah, bro. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. Nah. <laughs> you didn't. You didn't buy shit. You didn't whoop shit. You like, no, bro. No. Yeah, man. I I think uh, King Yellow just thinks is very disloyal.
to to even entertain any of his past chicks. Um, he he's been vocal about that with the little Jay situation, um, and uh, he's not having it. He think it's, he thinks is he thinks is disloyal. Yeah, bro, I feel that, bro. I do feel that, bro. Yeah, his ass disloyal for um for having it. Supposedly, his homie kick him out, and I could have been dead, bro. Do your homework on mm. Jay Man could have been dead, and I wouldn't have been allowed to tell y'all this story, bro. And y'all mm. wouldn't even enjoy this story, bro. 